A very warm welcome to Shortest Paths training session. On our Organised Crime Group Association chart, let's say we're interested in analysing transactional data. I'd like to establish and present which accounts are in credit and which are in debit by displaying the balance on the chart surface. Let's use some quick accelerator selection tools to find and select the transactional data. Under the Select tile, I have the option to choose the item types on the chart. We have a list here of entity types and at the bottom a list of link types. I'm interested in accounts. There's a really useful tool called Between Selected. I'm going to use the option Links Between Selected Entities to select the transactions between my accounts. It's generally best practice to copy out the results of interest to a smaller chart in order to focus on them further and present them. Up here in the quick access toolbar, I have the option to do so. I'm going to copy to a new association chart. Note that the compact peacock layout has been applied and my link labels are automatically arranged so that they do not overlap with one another. In order to further neaten up my chart, I'm going to select the top row of entities by dragging my cursor around them. And then under the Arrange tab, I have the option to align horizontally. I'll do the same for these three accounts. and repeat for the bottom two. In the same way, you can align vertically. This is an excellent time saver for perfectionists. Let's fit the chart to window. We've added amounts to link labels together with arrows to distinguish the flow of transaction. By double clicking on the account ends in 297, I'm going to edit the item's properties. Over on the left hand side here, I'm going to have a look at analysis attributes. Analysis attributes are system generated behind the scenes. You can use them in various search and analytical tools to gain numerous insights to your data. As an example, the analysis attribute entity earliest link tells me the date and time of the earliest link connected to this particular entity. Note the balance has been populated using entity sum link flow for this particular account. This is based on the values that have been stored in the link label. There's a definition for each analysis attribute below. In order to display the balance on the chart surface, I'm going to paste this value for entity sum link flow into a balance attribute. Under home, I'm going to open up insert from palette and down the bottom here I'm going to go ahead and locate a balance attribute. To save me time from having to look through the various palettes available, I'm going to use the search bar. We can see that there isn't a balance attribute available, so let's go ahead and create one. By right mouse clicking on the chart, I can edit the chart properties. I'll choose definitions and underneath I have the option to access attribute classes. And here are all the attribute classes that are available in my standard templates. I'm going to go ahead and create a new attribute class. Here we have the four types of attributes available in the software. The most suitable to hold my balance data is number. The name will be balance. I'm going to have a symbol and I'll add a prefix. We can see a sample of what the data will look like below. I'm also going to change the font 
to a blue colour. And there it is. We can also create our own entity types and link types so they're tailored to your organisation's needs. When I open up Insert from Palette, you'll notice that the balance attribute is now available. The next step in the process is to use the Merge and Combine feature, which will enable us to paste the balance from the Analysis attribute, Entity Sum Links Flow, onto the new attribute, Balance. This is an analytical tool found under Analyze, Merge and Combine, Combine Attributes. We will paste values of attribute Entity Sum Link Flow onto the values of attribute Balance. The paste behaviour will be to paste the value, the pasted value. And there we go. Finally, I'd like my audience to be able to easily visualise which accounts are in credit and which are in debit by adding coloured frames. Conditional formatting is a quick solution. I can change the style of these entities based on rules that I've set up in a specification. Here's the conditional formatting pane. This is a list of the different specifications, some of which accompany the software and some I've created myself. This one here, credit and debit frames, is one that I've set up. It's going to add green frames to accounts that are in credit and red to those that are not. Conditional formatting is brilliant for visual analysis to emphasise important data on your larger analytical charts as well. One final finishing touch is I'm going to hold down the Alt key and drag the link labels to reorganise them slightly. Here at Shortest Path Training, we'd be really interested to find out how you use analysis attributes. Please do drop us an email at info at shortestpathtraining.co.uk or send us a message on LinkedIn to share your ideas. Thank you.